Do you know <clears throat> the destruction that women put out in the world if they are the single mom raising the child versus two parent households or if the dad raised the child? Do you know the destruction women oh. put in the world? Oh, of course, yeah. I'm just saying this is it. not Corey's opinion. <clears throat> they have facts showing what happens when the single mom raises the child. If this so-called judgment day happens, it's got some real explaining to do. I'm talking about the ones acting like they're oblivious to their sins. Probable eternity, 99.999. Yes, he's your father. What? This man is my father? This man is my father? My mama lied to me again? That's not the lie he's referring to. He buried the man he thought was his father. 2017, I got an anonymous phone call that he was dying of cancer. His name's Dwight. He thinks I'm his son. I think this is my dad. All because mama's sitting here lying her ass off to everybody around her. In house culture, your mama who ain't never gonna go nowhere, she might be okay being the block slut. She might be okay going nowhere. But that doesn't mean that your son is. But you have a generation of women who if they do give birth, they hate their own children. So many of them are full of hate and fake. That's what we should start calling them, hate the hate fake, fake mm -hmm. <laughs> The ones that raise the offspring to purposefully fail. It's women out here who want their children to fail out of jealousy, dog. And this is never brought up. It's really who they ain't got so they don't want their kids to have shit. Even worse, <laughs> misinform their sons. 65 to 70% of the women in America misinform their sons. They don't want their sons to know about hoes because they hoes. Mm. They don't want their son to understand how a loose woman can interfere with society because they were a loose woman in society. Y'all, don't you understand that a young man whose mama does this to him, he thinks nothing of walking up to you in a convenience store and blowing your whole damn family away. He ain't got nothing. He's a demon, but he was created by the devil herself. This is female culture today. We lie all the time. You know what a man's lies like? A man's lies like, I'm at, I was at Tony's house. I'm at Kenny's house. That's a man's lie. A woman's lie is like, it's your baby. No. Hey, she gonna say, well, when it comes down to the it was just like the more you pull the little more, y'all yeah. might say that. Yeah, she said, she said, she said, for, their, for the, this, your father, that you talk with your father, zero, 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 you know, every dad I talk to wants to be a dad. They're fighting for their kids. And I get that that might not be every dad, but every single one of those dads that's fighting for their kids that I talk to is called a deadbeat by their ex. People don't even understand also the power a mother has over a child. The fact that my mama ain't been in my life, but still denying me that truth, that impacts the way that I can embrace and still even move through this process. Do you think she knew that Mr. Rick was your father instead of Dwight? I'm gonna tell you something. I'm gonna keep it above with you, King. You know, if 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 we're not gonna even start the cap, I was looking at everybody crazy because it's a small community. Right. Ain't nobody know. Ain't nobody know. They were trying to keep it quiet, you know, for a period of time till your, your mother and your grandmother didn't tell you this. No, no. So I, I, I didn't know who my dad was, and I have a, uh, I have two other sisters, and the older of the two sisters, you know, I thought her dad was my dad. You know, Afeni had lied to Tupac in regards to um, who his real father was, a man by the name of Billy Garland. Mr. Garland was in Vegas. Mr. Garland was at the hospital. Mr. Garland was at Jasmine's guy's house. They made him look out like look like they don't care 
they're not involved when they do get involved because they're kept from their teachers or schools or whatever by their mothers and they finally take initiative on it they're said oh well finally finally you're actually doing something that you care about you know the a joke that will always land about the black community is black men being deadbeat fathers and the reason why those jokes will always land is because society is under the impression that black men just don't take care of their kids and the reason why they think that is how a lot of black women have fooled them black women have leaned into that conversation and that stereotype all the while knowing that they have far more children than black men a lot of men who would not mind having their kids at 24 7. Facts. and and i know somebody who works and actually is dear to ace's heart as a friend who expressed to me his struggles yeah. getting his child and his fight one of my mentors spent hundreds of thousands of dollars in seven years fighting for custody for his daughter mm -hmm. and eventually got that there are a lot of men but the thing is most men feel defeated before yeah. we even enter the fight and Deborah still denies it. And we took another DNA test for her and she still denies it to this very day. I have not talked to her since. I finally confront, confronted her, you know, and women always want to cry out of it's the situation. You're like, oh, he's lying. I said, he ain't lying, I got this right here. You know, right. I wasn't mad at her. I was at his own up to it. Right. I wasn't going, I love my mama. She, right. been, she was there for me from the get-go. Because no matter what, she's still your mom. I mean, she mama, you know, it ain't that. She thought it was going to change our relationship, which I don't think it did. But I don't know, but when I got a wife, of course it was going to change some, some right. kind of substance. But, I just couldn't believe that she wasn't trying to own up to it. Then she finally owned up to it. It's perfectly legal in all 50 states for a woman to conceal her pregnancy, leave the father's name off the birth certificate, and never tell him he has a child, ever. A woman can only list the wrong father on a child's birth certificate, deceive him, and a short while later, in many states, the wrong man becomes that child's legal father forever. He's obligated to a child that isn't his, and that child just lost their real father with little to no recourse. Greetings, you polite savages. Let's get ready to rumble! You know, when you're on these YouTube streets and you start doing research for more content, you start realizing that things that you think are just one-off, things that can't possibly be a reoccurring event, Things that you would swear, you would bet a thousand bucks that you could never find another story just like it. But like all things, when you assume, when you are oh so confident, you find out how wrong you actually are. As I started looking into these folks uh, of, of status who had no idea who their father was growing up, either through their parents, their mother, their grandmother lying to them, or just through thoughtery and, and deception, or just choosing, choosing who they want to be the father because of a choice they made. And one thing I've noticed from every race of folks in this world, in this United States, when I walk around these folks that I meet, that I mentor, uh, through business, through martial arts, through whatever it is that we interact with each other, there's always a prevailing myth of the deadbeat dad that goes across all sectors. Now, of course, the sector of the, of the black community is always looked upon as having the most deadbeat dads because of course the sisterhood pushes this over and over again at nauseam oh he ain't nothing he won't come here and do what he's supposed to do oh I, if he would be a dad my son would be better but then when you go behind the numbers and the statistics what does it really show it shows that the black man in america lives more with their children and takes care of their children more than anyone and did the sisterhood ever, ever admit this? Even when St. Oprah Winfrey the Great, who they bow down to as sister auntie, can't do no wrong. Even when Oprah said it, they turned around and didn't believe it. There's been this landmark study from the Center for Disease Control, which debunked many of the myths surrounding black fathers. It found that the majority of black fathers live with their children. Black fathers are more likely to help their children with their homework, prepare meals, bathe and dress their children compared to fathers of other races. So the absent or deadbeat black father myth that many in America believe is really more like a lie.
You know, every dad I talk to wants to be a dad. They're fighting for their kids. And I get that that might not be every dad, but every single one of those dads that's fighting for their kids that I talk to is called a deadbeat by their ex. They're the reason why I continue to push this narrative is because of situations like this. Our black women do not know the actual statistics. The way that they got black men were the most involved fathers it wasn't just from black men taking a survey it was actually from black women <laughs> what a paradoxical world that we live in right now your polite savages right now in 2024 there are men out there who are doing the best they can trying to be in their child's life but because Perhaps the woman's upset that they found somebody else. Perhaps the woman's upset that they don't like them anymore. Perhaps the woman's just upset that they don't agree with the lifestyle or they don't agree with the person that they're living with. They are called deadbeats while their child is withheld from them. But there's also the flip side to this coin. When you call someone a deadbeat, how about this? There are tons of fathers out there who have no idea that they're fathers. There's tons of fathers out there that they may get the kid knocking on their door 16 years later saying, hey, my mom told me about you and you may be it. There are tons of fathers out there that once they get DNA tested, they realize that they are not the father. They're sitting here living in their own Mori Povich nightmare. There are men who wanted to be fathers who have their family ripped apart, snatched away from them, all because of a lie. And the women always say the same thing under these circumstances. You can see it on a Mori Povich show. You can see it in real life. You can even hear about it when Lavelle Crawford talked about his mother. Now, uh, oh, it, it ain't real. They start crying their way out of it. And everybody, when they see a woman bat a tear, they all get soft hearted and say, oh, it's okay, ma'am. But for once, we have to sit here and say, no, it's not okay. You lied and you ruined someone's life and you should be held accountable. I finally confront, confronted her. You know, and women always want to cry out of some, it's the situation. You're like, oh, he's lying. I said, he's lying. I got it right here. You know, right. I wasn't mad at her. I was at his own up to it. Right. I wasn't going, I love my mama. She, right. been, she was there for me from the get go. Because no matter what, she's still your mama. Yeah, I mean, she's mama. You know, it ain't that. And Deborah still denies it. And we took another DNA test for her. And she still denies it to this very day. I have not talked to her since. Probability of paternity? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> 100%? How is that possible? It's not baby. Perfect match to his father's DNA. They're showing her and she's saying, 100%, how can that be? All of a sudden, this heifer, who was the block scooter, is now sitting up here trying to tell everybody that she's a mathematician. Now, all of a sudden, she's a biologist. I can swear on my dead mother's grave. Rick Hubbard is not your father. This is Frank right now while she's saying that. He's like, this woman is shameless. She is despicable. She's disgusting. She's shameless. Hubbard is not your father. I don't know what happened how this paternity test came back 99.95%. And she gets up and comes over and hugs him. This is what it means to be a female monster. This is what it means to be a narcissistic and evil woman. Kirk Franklin goes back and gets a second paternity test. So when you all heard him before saying, my mama lied to me again, y'all, we're up to three, we're up to the third round of lying now. This I cannot accept because this is not true. And I apologize from the bottom of my heart on this. To test it out, put it in front of you. Are you saying that you reject the results of these two tests? That's what I need to hear. Yes. All she has to do is have the decency to accept reality and she's saying, I will go to war against objective reality in order to have my way. Because I would rather be in control lying than to be an honorable woman and tell the truth. We, we can't talk, me and my mother can't talk about it. Um, that as I tried already. So that's okay. After, when, when, when my stepfather passed away, she was still in her mind convinced to try to tell me that this man is my father. I'm like, Ma, we way past that. You know, I already know the story. I know the scoop. Grandma told me, Auntie told me, Uncle told me. We've been through this. I already done barked his. Kurt Franklin, he wasn't shit. my. 
Father, come on, bro. You uh, correctly. Do you realize your son is supposed to save you later in life? Because oh, you a woman, you probably insane. Especially if you a single mom, you probably are insane. Every once in a while, you run into a single mom where you be like, oh, her husband passed. Or, wow, this lady really has her sh together and her head is screwed on right. You know what I'm saying? But she doesn't have a man. Every once in a while, you run into that. Most of the time, you run into a crazy b kept this baby after she didn't others. Mm. Babies. That's what you got mostly out here with women. If you raise your son right, do you know your son will come back and save you from your own insanity? Yeah. A wise son is going, by the time he hit around about 30, he done been out there in the world, he done starting to find his way, he can save his mama. A wise son, a son that was raised off some morality and principles, he can save his mama. If the mama is alone, he gonna show the mama sh that only a man can show the mama. But if you raise your son to be a piece of sh what do you think is gonna happen to the next generation? <clears throat> KK? Bullsh situations, man. You know your polite savages, I've seen the double-headed dragon of the family court system and the stigma of the dead be dead just crush men's soul, crush their brains until there's nothing left, until they're the shell of men, until they give up. They just give up and they say, okay, when a kid's old enough, the kid's gonna come and see me. And that kid walks to them and they say, dad, where were you? Why didn't you fight for me? And when the father says, I fought as hard as I could, I exhausted my resources, I was damn near homeless, the boy looks at him and said, well, I would've went homeless because they don't understand understand the world yet they've never been in that situation and how about the men who get a paternity test for one reason or the other and at 30 percent who find out that they are not the father what is their recourse it's totally legal for a woman to leave and never tell a man that she had a baby it's totally legal for a woman to put that baby on someone else if they decide to sign that birth certificate a lot of these states are hit you up for child support when it's not even your kid but the thing that gets me the most is the Era of superiority that women have when they sit there and they look you in the eye and say, well, if it was me, I would do move heaven and earth to fight for my kid. But ma'am, you've never had to move heaven and earth to fight for your kid. You've never been in that situation because if you were in that situation, you'd realize how difficult it could actually be. But the question you should really be asking yourself, the question that everybody who hears this should ask themselves, just take this one single thing from everything I've said, is why in the hell would a man have to fight for it and see his child anyway? It's perfectly legal in all 50 states for a woman to conceal her pregnancy, leave the father's name off the birth certificate, and never tell him he has a child, ever. I, w I ran upstairs and I asked my mom, I said, you know, um, daddy's birthday card went in the mail today. You, what's going on? Why, you know, what's happening? How come the card went there? And she's laid out in her bed and she just kind of looks like, yeah, so he's not your real father. And I'm just like, rewind, what? A woman can knowingly list the wrong father on a child's birth certificate, deceive him, and a short while later, in many states, the wrong man becomes that child's legal father forever. He's obligated to a child that isn't his, and that child just lost their real father with little to no recourse. Thank you for watching the Tip Network. Follow us on all social media outlets and ask yourself one burning question. Can you handle the tip? Boom, we're out.